Hello, my name is Carl and I'm the author of Car Care, an iPhone app that can help you manage the fuel economy uh, and maintenance actions of your vehicle. I'd like to show you my app really quick. First you tap on the plus sign in the top right as soon as you purchase the app and you can add any kind of make uh, that you have. We have a pretty long list. Um, I'll add in a smart car. Uh, and it's a brand new one. We can set the odometer to be either miles or kilometers. I'm in the US so I'll use miles. I can also choose a, po a photo uh, from my library or if I had a camera hooked up to this I could take that. Now that I have my car let's add a new gas fill by clicking new gas fill uh, by tapping on it on your phone. You can enter in the price of the fill, how much it was either per gallon or per liter depending on how uh, uh, it's measured in your area. You can use scroll wheels to set the gallons, uh, the quantity of uh, fuel that you've purchased. You can choose your vehicle, and then you can set what the odometer rating is. You could also change how you enter a lot of these uh, as well by hitting the edit button in the top left. We can set the entry method to instead of being the picker, we could set it to digital. Also, if we have different fuel types, we could change that. My car doesn't support diesel, so I'm going to go ahead and allow it to take E85, the ethanol-based uh, gasoline. You can also change currency to a euro, uh, a yen, or something else. Now I've got it uh, where if I wanted to enter it in, I just tap and type it in. I can switch between gallons or liters. So once I'm done, I tap save in the top right, and now it knows what my latest odometer reading is. If I go in here, I can see, yep, I have my latest uh, gas entry in here. Now let's add one more, and let's see if we can get uh, what our gas mileage is going to be. Bam! We get it right away. As soon as we enter in the odometer reading and have some sort of quantity, we get a reading on what uh, our fuel economy has been. We can change the view, uh, depending on which set of units you're most comfortable with, between miles per gallon, uh, the UK imperial gallon, liters per 100 kilo, and also kilometers per liter. Uh, if you filled something on a different day, we can always modify the date, and uh, we can change the price to be uh, whatever it uh, happened to be in your city on this particular day. So now that we have that, we'll hit save, and we can see right away uh, that's what our fuel economy is. Now let's add one or two more entries just so that we have a little bit bigger of a range uh, of data to work with. So I can show you a few more of the neat features of car care. I can put up to three decimal points in both gallons and the price. Uh, I can enter the odometer with uh, dec uh, decimal as well. And this time I'm going to say I've got an E85. I'll hit save, and now I have an E85 entry. If I need to make a change to it, I tap on the entry, I hit edit, and I can change it to whatever I need it to be. Maybe instead of 9.99, it was actually just 9 gallons flat. I hit save, it updates to 9 gallons, and my miles to the gallon were also updated. Now let's take a look at some statistics. We have stats and we have graphs. If I look at graphs, I can see this is how my fuel economy has changed over time. I can also see how the price of gas per gallon has changed over time. Let's add one more entry. Uh, because this is kind of fun, uh, to get some different kind of statistics in here. Uh, we're going to do uh, pretty much the same thing. We'll say gas is a little cheaper. We'll say it's another uh, fill up of E85. And we'll save it. Now we have a little bit of data to go with. Let's look at our vehicle statistics. Here we can see we have the total amount of money I've spent on fuel, how much I've typically spent per gallon, how far I've driven, and how much that works out to uh, in cost per mile in whatever currency I have. If I had euros, it would be euros or British pounds or whatever I'd want. It also shows my overall average fuel economy, 22 miles to the gallon, shows my best and worst, and then it also shows the average for individual types of gas. So with E85, uh, which is probably not typical, but here it's showing E85 is getting more miles to the gallon. Uh, that's typically not uh, the case in real life, though. 
It also shows what your carbon footprint is. Uh, that's just the amount of uh, fuel that you've burned uh, and total, in, in total, how much CO2 that's put into the air. And we also have total service cost. Let's go ahead and make a service entry. If we tap New Service in the bottom right, we can set it to any number of service entries. I'll go with an oil change because that's, uh, that's a pretty common one. Choose our vehicle. It pops in with our current odometer reading, and actually I did it about 100 miles ago. And it cost me about $25. And instead of December 20th, I actually did it uh, back on the 14th. I could also put in notes, like I did this at Firestone. Easy to tap in with your finger, real quick to do uh, wherever you might be. You can also add custom by uh, custom uh, service types by tapping on Edit in the top left, hitting the plus sign, and then typing in any kind of service that you like, uh, such as a fuel filter. And now we have fuel filter in our list that we could select if we so chose to. But I had an oil change. I'll hit save on that. And now we'll see the oil change shows up uh, in the odometer list. If we look at vehicle stats now, we see that total service cost was that. And that's how much the service comes out to. There's our total cost, 12 cents per mile for this vehicle. Something useful as you plan out your budget and plan on winter vacations, summer vacations as well. Uh, if we add additional data, we could use the import data feature uh, to bring that in. We can also email export entries out uh, for backup purposes uh, and other stuff. Uh, we can also look at reminders. Here's the reminders that we have. We can set up reminders uh, for any kind of the custom service types that we have. So if I hit plus, I, I can go through my whole list of service types. I'd like to set up a fuel filter reminder. And I want to change my fuel filter, hmm, I'm not entirely sure, but let's say 12,000 miles, or uh, no, let, let's go even bigger. Maybe 18,000 miles, or every 13 months. I can also set it to a particular odometer reading if I just want to be reminded at 50,000 miles. So now it tells me about that. I have about 17,000 miles until I have to change my fuel filter. Now let's say that that happens. Uh, in fact, even better, let's say in 4,900 miles I'll need to do my oil change again. So let's increase it f at least 4,900 miles. Uh, let's crank it up to that. Hit save just to see what happens. And it tells us the oil change is overdue. It's been at least 5,000 miles since the last oil change. So, and uh, it's going to remind us that both right here on the home page this is a wrong miles per gallon since I cheated on this last step. And even when we exit car care, it's going to tell us with the icon badge uh, reminder. So that's how many service items that I need uh, to perform. Once I add the oil change, it'll all go away. If I add another oil change uh, around the 9,000 mark, now I'm set. If I want to add multiple cars, uh, maybe I have a Cadillac Escalade, but I don't, um, but let's say that I do, and I could go ahead and add that and start tracking as well. If I wanted to delete it, because I really don't have one, I just swipe my finger from left to right and hit delete. Uh, that can also be used to delete any entries, and it also is a shortcut when you're using Apple's Mail app or many other iPhone applications. I hope that you've enjoyed my uh, perusal of car care. Uh, if you have any questions, always feel free to email me or use the website. There's Get Satisfaction, uh, as well as I've set up a Google Docs uh, submission form so that you can submit ideas, feature requests, and bugs that you find. Uh, I really hope you like car care, uh, and it helps you figure out the best way to drive your vehicle. Thanks a lot.